Oh, I want to go on Ottenen Summoner Assassin, and we're back with some more Vampire. So I believe we got the last Braille note here. Braille. I yes. should bring this to Mason Swanborough. Yeah. So I reckon we potentially might be able to wrap up the last bit of the game. I'm going to go hand this in. And then just do a load of the tasks I have to do for this main quest. And yeah, we should be pretty much finished with this game. Depending if we're strong enough to actually do the get, uh, finish it and stuff. Oh, I don't really know what's going to happen when we give him the final one. There's one of them! Watch yourselves! Watch yourselves. No, you watch yourself. Stay back, please! Oh, oh there you go. It ain't you, Rick! Get it! Oh, shit. Good evening, Mr. Swan. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Please come in. Ah, uh, thank you, Jack. pays visits to people at this later. What can I do for you, Doctor? Here is another Final page one. of the formula for the cure for blindness. Give it to me? Yes. Brilliant. I'm going to give you the location and the code you will need to find the cure, but you have to listen to me first. Why? What is it? If you find the proof that this treatment for blindness is real, I want to try it. Do you understand? No matter the risks. Risks? What have you read in these pages that you're not telling me? You already know what you need to know. I trust you, Dr. Reed. We share the same passion for science. Please bring back the formula. Your sister seems to believe this miracle elixir business is somehow doing you good. Loretta believes that keeping busy is what I need to be happy. And is she wrong? My sister is wrong about almost everything. But as long as she thinks she's in charge, she can be nice. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. All right. Oh, like, this guy's got a beard. Ah! It's almost impossible to see in the light. Watch yourselves! There's one of them! If McCollum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient for my recipe. Oh yeah, I had to know the secret of um, what was written in that guy's um, Pandora's box side quest. And it turns out that if you read it, it doesn't give you the next collectible you need to unlock that sword. And I believe that sword was like one of the best swords in the game, so kind of annoying, but that's how it is. You unlock a sword and another collectible, so... I think that will help. That happened, but... It's a very difficult game in terms of, like, actually achieving everything.
Let's get it. Come on. Let's get it over the weird day. I think this is why actually. Let's take it all the way through. Over there! There's one of them vermin! Ah! Ow! Forget about that. It is why I think it is.
sounds like someone's writing. <laughs> Ah, and I found the exit to the above area. Give it to him, we'll see what it does. Honestly though, I don't think it's gonna fix him or cure him in any way. I think it's actually gonna damage him. Ooh. What is this? A serum created by following the tear of angels recipe. Instance of garlic essence protect against Disasters of infection. Okay. Oh, I didn't even think about the fact that I could just go straight through. Birds one stone? Yeah, I think so. Die, Berlin! Just go to old Pembroke and sort this stuff out. Ow. Um, we can speak to, um, what you call it? Swansea. Gotta be up here, isn't he? Hiding away. Hiding away like a little coward. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, 
I was wrong. It's not up there. This is well confusing, like, where is he? I can't find him at all. Um, King Arthur's search for insulin in the old morgue. Aha, in the old morgue. Yeah, about talking to him then. I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drugstore. I can find what's his face. Oh no, it does kind of It's down. locked all right. But I assume it's in a room I haven't been to before. Fellas are just bloody weird. Thank you. 
There it is. Ah. Insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu. Just so annoying because he's nowhere. Up. He just says he's up. Oh no, that's the back here. No. Hard knees either above or below me. He literally just doesn't exist. Ah, wait, I have an idea. Is he down here? Doubtful, but let's have a look. I cannot enter. I'm not gonna bother talking to him like he's just not there whether he hasn't spawned or why I don't know but fine it's just a waste of my time It'd be nice to pay a visit to um old Red Grave. Maybe I can even kill him. Already ran past. Ah, I talked to him. There he is. Good evening, vampire hunter. Are you here to end me, Leech? You'll find I will not be killed easily. Not at all, McCullum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. 
Why would you? Ah. You found Marshall's memoirs. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to. But I must know more. What precisely are your plans? I have found the carrier, McCollum. The infection's source. It may be science, or some supernatural power that's responsible for all this. But I will harness either or both to end the epidemic. A vampire doctor? My god, you're a terrifying creature. Jonathan Emmett Reed. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. You're the only one that's about the same size as them. No so... way. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. He's buried here. Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. And yet worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire. And tore out my mother's throat. Bloody hell. And who was this man? Carl Eldritch. One time leader of Prewin. He killed my father in front of me. Helped me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me how to kill leeches. What will the guard of Prewin do now? Will you stop the great hunt? Yes. But we shall continue to protect innocents from beasts like you and your red headed friend. Like me? I am indebted to you for sparing me at Pembroke. But this won't always be the case. I'm no coward like those St. Paul's Stowe brothers. How long have you known Lady Ashbury? Where is she? And what will you do to her? We saw you meeting her, so of course we investigated. She is gone. Our scouts reported she has sold some paintings and departed for an unknown destination. Adieu, vampire hunter. Until we meet again, blood drinker. I guess realistically I should try and talk to Red Grave. If I have no choice but to kill him, then I will kill him. Good evening, Mr. Swan. Is it you? Yes. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? Right. What can I do for... I have found the secret laboratory, and I have the formula. And the author of the diary, did you meet him? Yes. He was badly disfigured. Nothing more than a beast. And I cannot guarantee it wasn't connected to his experiments. I don't care. Give me the formula, Doctor. Here it is. But please, be very careful. 
You're entering uncharted territories here. This is what science has always been about, Dr. Reed. Thank you, thank you so much. I can't say it's been a pleasure, but we're both scientists, and I am grateful you asked me to undertake this search for you. I have something for you, then. It is the most precious thing I have to give. Even more important than the Swanborough secret recipe. There is really no need for payment. Please have it, Dr. Reed. I insist. I'm sure you'll find it more useful than I would. Sailing. That's it. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. Mate. Taking the mickey. Jesus. Ow. Jeez, that's chicken, huh? He's mine! I'll take him! Away with you! Can I heal when I'm running through it? Please, I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know the game. You paint for peace of mind. Last you Londoners are no match for me! So I guess realistically there was a way to save every single person in the entire game. And I guess now that I've done what I've done. You are not welcome. Now that I've done what I've done, I can't I'm not friendly with him, but if I'd have kept it friendly, I could have saved everyone, kept everyone friendly with me, and just had like a really good amazing ending. I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise. Are you from Ascalon? I don't oh. care! 
Oh, he asked me if it was guilt for what happened. Just trying to get out of there so that he's not to invite cheap poison the world. Chiffin hell! Woof me! You're bloody tough, mate. Looking in, lurking in here. Hello. Talk to me. Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker profited to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. Stop this farce. Marshall never was your maker. I have no idea how you acquired his blood, but I need it now. I see. Well, in that case, Given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. He changed his mind very quick. You again? What do you want? I have a few questions to ask. You hold in that vial the most sacred blood of all. I can help you no more. We all count on you, Dr. Reed, for tragedy is imminent. Pick up a letter. What's that? Ah. 
Blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. I would um, sleep, but there's not much point. If I do, everything goes to shit again. place I didn't really get to show you guys so I'll take that shortcut. It does annoy me some of the places I didn't get to go. Uh, I can't get in there. It's locked. Yeah, this led round to uh, where well, Fort Fort Fergal. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where I am now. This exit. Look at this. Are going to be hostile now or let me do my job? Uh -oh. This place has been ransacked. They've all been slaughtered. Prewen? No, not their style. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left a trail I could find. Blood trail. Hasn't that that way? I can hear some weird breathing though. Well, that's just the music. I don't know. Back where I came from.
Ah. That's new. Wonder what she turned in there. Probably some sort of grotesque monster. Uh oh. This doesn't look like a boss thing. I don't know what it looks like. Yeah, mate. Just show yourself, you whooping, 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 Take whooping not a coward. Step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right, but no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. Blood. You are made of blood. Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth what? for eternity. That's well confusing, mate. But who are you really? Tell me your name. My name is Blood. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one, then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. Like the original vampire? Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern, scientific answer to this ancient, mystical threat. What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Speak to me. This ancient threat. The blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the Queen of Blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic goddess of war? Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this. She is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. 
That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. A lot to take in. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you, the need for blood, the will to strike and oh, to punish, a pretty good dance, to she spit is. in the eye of God. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge. My champion, Bittersweet. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final hope. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature? Yes. The threat will dissipate like so. I have no idea what I'm expecting when I get up there. Purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. Uh. Uh. Now I'm like, do I get this way? Ah, that's the way I go. So I'm going the opposite way. Goodbye. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. But I will. Oh shit. Oh fuck me. There it is. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> oh, it's gonna be way tough. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, 
You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Oh shit. Oh my oh. Ow. Oh my god, but wait, whoa, 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 what happened to my health? Dang it, I, d I noticed my screen going dark, but I didn't see shit. <laughs> I didn't get hit by anything, it's just been the gas. Shit. Oh shit, honey. Oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Whoa, 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 you've taken away my... Stage one. Come on then, stage two. No. Where are you? Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 blood, thank you. Red Queen. No, you can't do that. I need uh, blood. Stamina, stamina, health, health points. Yeah. Dreamably, are you all going to suffer now? Oh 
my powers that do blood are gone. Oh, this is a bit harsh, isn't it? Ah. Oh god. Little ones. They like you at all, god. Jesus Christ. Not a fan. Ow, you cow. Ah, ah, put my powers back. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, get away from me, you bitch. Up there. Hey, 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 you get down. Oh my god, you do that. Oh god, I hate when they do that. You get heaps of blood off her. She's a fucking queen of blood, mate. Eat, for this is my body. Ah ha! Boom, bitch. Do you think you're champion of the civil enchant? Uh, well, I think no one I thought I beat you. Beat you. Mother of us all. Wait, For this is just a game between the two of you? What the hell? And leave. You've always been my most amusing son. 
Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. What the hell? That was like some sort of game? So it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. Thank you. Very kind. Could you change her to a vampire? I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. <sighs> it's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. We're all safe. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize. Really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. Yes, I'm you honored did. to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you <laughs> anything now? But I wouldn't wear so I'll answer questions. just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Man, Who are you? Mobile, okay. Okay. Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever. By making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too. Now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic. But I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. Oh, thank you, Bridget. You're very kind. You're also quite old. 